Well, so you hear more about all of these issues and how these uh, pans out. There are night meetings. There are day meetings. We will give you all the juicy details. Let's get perspective from those who are experienced uh, all of these kind of situations. Joining us uh, in the studio here in Lagos is a former Minister of Works and also a former Senator, a PDP chieftain, Senator Adesha Yogunlewe from our Buja studio. He's a member of the APC, Abubakar Usman Abu Siddiq. Thank you so much, gentlemen, for joining us on the program. Let's begin the conversation with you, uh, Senator Ogunlewe, as it stands right now. I know you and I, uh, we've spoken about this scenario right here in the studio, but it's panning out. Uh, elections are closed. Why do you think some of the people who, are, who left are saying they are coming back? Well, it depends on the, the situation that led to the, uh, the camping. You know, as members of the National Assembly, there is this tendency of the governor's overriding and overbearing on the members of the National Assembly, believing that they are the superior you know, member of the party. And if you don't toe the line of the governor of your state, you are probably going to be you know, outside. And once you are outside, you are on your way out unless you change your party. So, so survivor sometimes is, yes. the, is the name of the game. Yes. The second one is everybody looks at members of the National Assembly as insignificant. They are not important. They are, they are surrogates to, the, to one godfather or not. It, is not. it is not true. Some of them can even be governors. What, 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 what is the fate of uh, some of these things that we're seeing, for example? How will these defections affect the fate of the APC, who is a ruling party right now in 2019? No, we cannot say yet. It is too premature. You know, politics is too dynamic. It is not mathematics. Why do lawmakers or politicians always want to defect and move around? No, I've told you, it depends on the state you are coming from or the, your, the perception of the people about the federal government. And it is not unusual. It happened in PDP. It's, it's happened in APC. Everybody should manage his own, property, I mean, his own party better. The way we manage political parties in Nigeria now it's not the best. Does it mean that your party is a better one uh, compared to the APC no, now? No, 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 no. I'm just saying the, the leadership, how the leaders speak, you know, how arrogant they are, how careless they are. How, you know, it is infuriating to some people, the, the way some leaders speak, as if you are a master. There is no master of relationship in politics. <laughs> you are not going to be in my constituency when we are voting. You can make all the noise in Abuja. But if you think election is one person, you know, prerogative. No. All right. Everybody okay. has his own power and authority in their self-respective constituency. Uh, uh, so uh, leadership should be careful the way they talk. M M Mr. Usman, uh, the defections that we're seeing, and we've seen these consultations and meetings happening, uh, does it mean that uh, the party is getting this serious about it? Perhaps it's going to hurt the party. Is that the reason why the party, the leadership of the party, is so serious about some of these people that have left? Thank you, Sharon. Um, the APC is a, is a party that um, values its it members. And um, it doesn't matter whether um, some of them have taken decision to, to leave the party today or, or not. The APC naturally values its members. And um, whoever among the members that wants to leave, like you, you have rightly heard from the, uh, the, the chairman, they are free to leave. But of course, um, the party will not sit down and um, just tell them to leave. The party will do all that it can, just like um, the APC chairman has done, has tried to talk to um, quite a lot of them. But those of them who, um, like he said, have um, their own... Um, objective different from that of the party there's nothing you can do you leave the, you are, you let them you let them go and then um, i i'm happy that um the the, the the pdp chieftain with you there has said that um because in in in, in the in the couple in the past uh, past days where uh, since the defection we've been hearing a lot of um pdp chieftain saying that i mean sounding as if the defection alone is um is a victory for them in in, in the election but you heard him there saying that, no, it is not necessarily so. Um, politics, politics is dynamic. And the fact that they have left today does not mean that it is already victory 
Um, All right, Mr. Usman, I, I'd like to pause you for a moment. I'm sorry about that because we need to go on a short break. But when we come back, I'll get the benefit of your experience and that of Senator Adesha Higunlewe on the program. And we'll look at what this all means for 2019, especially as the National Assembly has become a battleground in all of this political drama. That's next on the program, everyone. Join us again.